What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John, for the community here. Welcome to back to another episode of the Saga Lock. Hopefully, everything is going super, super swell. Um, today, we have a super duper crazy episode of Saga Lock. We trained our team up to a solid level 52. Uh, so, things did happen. Obviously, there's going to be a, another a cut in train, I think, because we're going to literally have another team star. But let's go through the team recap because there was some changes. Nothing too terrible. But first off, we do have our girl Mama Bear with Horn Leech, the newly learned move over Discharge. I don't know how I feel about that. That could be dangerous. But you know me and my healing moves on my tanks. Like, if I can have it, I will take it. Horn Leech is an 80 base power. Is it 80 base power? It's 75 base power. Healing move. Nothing changed on... Oh, no. Yes. Trudy got... We got rid of Scorching Sands on Trudy in place of Rock Slide. So we can have flying coverage um, instead. So our flying coverage is on our slacking instead of on our Mama Bear. Then we have Mega Horn on Squidward with Intrepid Sword. That's a crazy setup. Patrick did not change. Nolan did not change. And nor did Aaron. Aaron was literally out of the party while I was training. Because, you know, we were like, Aaron, you don't need to be in the party right now. That's literally how that went. It was like, Aaron, you're level 52 already. <laughs> you can be in the party when we're almost done training. <laughs> it was literally, it was like, because again, there was really no reason. Oh, we're getting a cutscene. I expect this game to crash. And if it does, then we might have to go to the post com the po or the, the, the no com star. But we'll see. Operation Starfall is going well, wouldn't you say? And there's only two bosses left now. This whole experience has been eye-opening, to say the least. I'm glad I could take part. But I'm curious. What do you think of Cassiopeia? I don't know if they can be trusted. Is that so? Personally, I don't think Cassiopeia feels any hate or resentment towards Team Star. No, there must be some reason behind Operation Starfall. But what could it be? Well, I'd best be keeping watch. Call for me when you, need to, when you decide to take on the base, okay? Well, we're going to be doing that right now. We have a... It's a fairy type. So, with it being a fairy type, I have decided that our grouping is our tank. Our tank group. It's tank group plus... Um, actually, it is just straight up our tank group. I will return later when it is time has come. Uh, when it's time for that young man, the young master's piano lessons. Until then, please give him my regards. Yes, Mr. Harrington. Mm hmm. And who might you be, young man? A friend of the young master, perhaps? Young master? Ah, I see. Since you are unaware, I must inform you that you, this is team, the team, the base of Team Star's fairy crew, the Rubak Squad. Led by Master Ortega. Huh, Mr. Harrington. I don't think we're supposed to be giving out that information. No, please. Accept my apologies. Do you have any idea who this young man might be? He's a friend of ours. You know, I think he might be here to take us on. Understood. In that case, I take it you're an adversary of this young master. Yep, that's right. Is that so? Well, then, that leaves me with one last thing to ask you. Huh. Would you be so kind to indulge me in a quick battle? Sure. Why not? Pokemon Trainer Harrington leads off with Sandy Shocks. That's fine. We have Trudy. That's okay. Aqua Step. Mega Kick. That's going to not... Oh, that's going to hit it hard, actually. Sandy Shocks does... I did not realize how hard Sandy Shocks hits. Okay. I don't like that you hit that hard. Ha! 
How much experience do I get, even? Oh, quite a bit. Send out Drizzle. That's... No, 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 no. I was going to send out Mama Bear, but again, that's not... That's more of a resort option. Um, that That is most definitely more of a result, resort option. Oh, we love when things actually go awry and don't um, work as intended. Okay. Not a full heal. That's okay, though. Esper Wing, what are you? Speed Rose. Oh, it's like Aqua Step. It's Psychic I, I, it's psychic Aqua Step. Okay. I mean, I'm not mad about that. Well, how could I be? Drizzle's down. We took out that. That's good. That's good. That's good. We take it. We take it. We take it. Yeah, I don't necessarily know how we're going to take on this next. It's Fairy. We don't have anything for Fairy. Fairy's kind of our problem. Gotta let everybody know what trouble you're gonna make. Hmm. No, 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 no. I see the guard has been dealt with. Good job. That base belongs to Team Star's Fairy Guru, the Rubox Squad. Their boss, Ortega, is a mechanic of the team. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him, and things will go south very quickly. He's a real lead-from-the-back type. He gets his grunts to do all the dirty work for him. But his weak point is his short fuse. Get him good and angry, and he'll match, or he'll march out to the front lines to deal with him, or to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else but to take him down. The lack, all the lackeys he sends your way, just. Tough it out until Ortega shows up, and you'll be good to go from there. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off the phase of operation. It's time to wipe out the Rubok squad off the map. Yep, we got everything all situated in that department. We actually also sold things to get our full restores ready because we're we are at the point of the game. Insanely enough, we are right at this part of the game. Like we have, the, we have literally just <clears throat> a push out, and we're good. Beep alert! Code red, code red. Operation Starfall alert! Everyone in the positions to defend the boss with all got it. Rest assured, intruder will be dealt with without the boss's help, unless you manage to defeat thirty Pokemon in ten minutes. Gosh, this is sketch. This is extremely sketch. Like, I am not a fan. I will be perfectly honest. But we got to do what we must. They definitely have the diverse typings down, and that's scary. We are taking down what we have to, but... <clears throat> 19.
22. Some Paparooskies. How can we dare fight the Paparooskies? Okay. Whoo! Our defenses are breached. It is all up to the boss now. Ortega. Here we go. So you're John. <laughs> okay, fine. Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little more beefed up. You mean my dream man like Travis Kelsey? Yeah, I know. I, I feel that. Well, whatever. I don't care who you are. Not like I'm able to lose anyway. You think fairy types are all about cuteness? Well, you're in for a nasty surprise. Oh, trust me. I'm... I honestly think I'm... I am most concerned about your uh, fellow person that's after me, after you, because it's a fighting type person, and that's a problem for me, but it's fine. You were challenged by team star Ortega, and Ortega leads with a colossal. Oh, let's go! Quad effective! We'll take that. That's a W for us. I promise I'll play nice, but don't blame me when the battle sends you blubbering back home. Okay. Good start. Good start. We'll take that. That's a W. That's a W in our book. It's not no co. That's okay, though, because we get extra speed here. Oh, of course we're getting confused right off the bat. <laughs> Why does that not surprise me? Honestly, that shouldn't surprise me, and it doesn't at this point. Okay. Bramblegast. I stay in because Bramblegast is... Yeah, that's what I thought it was. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Because that's Ghost. So we can take that on. Nice! Oko? Yes! Yes! Uh... Sudowoodo. We stay in on that. Because we Oko that as well and gain more speed off of that. Oh my god, can we get out of the par can we get out of confusion, please? We are getting so lucky in confusion, but we need to snap out real quick. Thrash. Okay, that's a confusing move. Ah, I don't like that. Oopsie, did you realize how outmatched you are? If you were going to give up, now's the time. No, there's never a time to give up. Don't. Don't. Please. Don't. Thank you. We have been stuck in confusion for five turns. That's very long for confusion, and I do not like that. I think that means the next turn we're out guaranteed, but still, max confusion was not what we needed here. The Rever Room. What the heck? Why is my team on the ropes? This is totally not fair. Oh, it totally is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you have a grand ability for yourself. I don't like that. I think I've got to keep up the pressure with Trudy. Yeah, I got to keep up the pressure with Trudy. We're going to try and flinch. I think that's the play. Okay, guaranteed snap out of confusion. We were right on that. We gotta play the flinch game now. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're fine damage-wise on that. We're, we are okay damage-wise on that. If we can play the flinch game and play it well, we'll be okay. No. Ah, that's gonna hurt a little bit more. But that got rid of the terrain. So she can't, or he can't use that again. So that's fine. I am going to Hyper Potion, though, and play it safe. 
Playing it safe is the way to play right now. We have to play it as safe as possible. We have a fight against... An, we have an annoying fight coming up that honestly could... Oh my gosh, we're going back to confusion. Ew. Uh, I have my plan of action for the Pokemon I'm sending in for that, but I'm not by any means um, excited about the Pokemon that are coming in for that. There's what I expected. Ouch. I, it was bound to happen. I was just waiting for when it was going to happen. Mm. Come on. Come on. We need this bad. We need to get a flinch off. Come on. We haven't gotten that yet. We have not gotten that yet. Come on. Let's get that flinch. Ugh. Come on. This next fight's going to be atrocious for us. We need a win here. Because the next river room is going to have a fighting type version of this. Like, we need Mamba Bear to step up big time. Or, no, 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 Toxapex. Toxapex is who we need to step up big time. It is going to be up to Toxapex. Toxapex is the saving grace here. But, like, literally, it's going to be Cricketune, Toxapex, and then a mon that will probably die in the midst of the thingamadoodle. Unless they live at 1 HP. But I don't think they do. I think they do crumble to death. And if they do that then it is dead. The auto battles will kill them. So I don't want that to be the case. But that is the case. Okay. That's fine. Come on. Get the flinch. Please. It's in the yellow. Get that flinch. Get that flinch. Get that flinch. No. And it got the C word too. Come on, Trudy! Pull through, baby! You've done so great this fight. I need you to pull through. It's another C word. We can't be getting C worded now, Trudy. You also can't keep getting these max confusions either, Trudy. It's not helpful. Gosh dang it. Um. I hate being in a loop. Also, I bit my lip, and that hurts super bad. Okay. Get out of this. Get out of this, Trudy. Thank you. We need to get the flinch off. We haven't gotten it. Please. Oh, my gosh. We are getting... Terrible luck when it comes to that. Please. Please, please, please. No, we're going to go for Confuse right. Crap. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm going to do. I know my plan of action. It's full restore into Aqua Step because Aqua Step is 100% accurate. There it is. Trudy pulled through. Let's go, girl. You did your thing. We love you. We stand you. We are here for you, girl. Oh. sketch a -lific. Or sketch or whatever. Oh, how did I lose? What the heck? About a year and a half ago. Oh. What the heck? Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you, it's not a toy! It's called a Starmobile, and I was up all night building it. 
The problem is clearly we weren't giving it enough juice. You designed that thing to be powered by two shark debt, but it was just too heavy. That's such a shame. I wanted to see the looks of our bully's faces once we got it moving. I'm sorry. I really thought I could get it to work. Oh, come on now, good fellow. Tis not the occasion to be melancholy. Why, to make such a remarkable comp or contra contraption by thr thine own hand, genius, thy name is Ortega. Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all that effort was going to go to zero payout, I just would have asked my mother to buy a car for us. Like, oh my god. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say stupid things, you know that. What? Mela. Cool it, would you? Yeah, how about no? I mean, we put this in the code for crying out loud. When you started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents or bags of cat for or bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Did you forget that? If your hunk of junk doesn't move, get it moving. If you weren't short on juice, you gotta crank it up the power somehow. Doesn't take a genius, man. That's easy enough for you to say, Melly. Do you have an actual plan? Yep. I'm going to train up my shark deck and have the M evolve. Their boosted firepower will get the Starmobile moving. No sweat. But the hour of the Operation Star is nay at hand. Will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. Melly, wait. You know Mela shoots her mouth an awful lot, but she means well. Oh, I know. Ugh, this is going to suck. This sucks. I hate myself for losing. But I also can't get over how awesome you were in battle. If any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means that, that we have to step down. And going against our code would make them a traitor to the team. Ugh, fine. It's not like I have a choice anyway. So take this badge already. You better treat it with the respect it deserves. I'm not done yet. Here's my favorite TM. Good TM. We'll take it. Thank you, bud. And just so you know, you are the worst. Like the most annoying person ever. But I get it. You're super strong. And I'll admit, you even busted up my Starmobile. Young Master Ortega. Mr. Harrington. I guess it's time for my panelists now. As it happens, I just lost my boss title. So I'm all good. Head on home. Ah, uh, actually, a different matter brought me. There's somebody I would like you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. The name's Clive. Okay, what's your business being here? I want to tell you something. You're the son of a wealthy family and an heir to the major apparel company. Why join a group like this? What a question to ask someone you've just met. Well, my answer is the same as everybody else on the team. It's because I was getting bullied. So the academy really did used to have an issue with bullying. Who would have guessed, right? The school is all rainbows and butterflies these days. And the bullies are back then. Don't even go to the academy anymore. Why? What happened to them? As the former director of the academy, I believe that I am best positioned to answer that question. Mr. Harrington? About 18 months ago, a member of Team Star Corp confronted the students who used to bully them. And the altercation broke bet out between the groups. Though, I did not escalate into a major incident. The altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of hither thou. Unknown, hither the unknown proportions. As a result of what occurred that day, the students had been per perpetuating the bullying and dropped out of the academy one after another. But, but, there aren't records of that anywhere in the academy. No, I should imagine not. My former deputy deleted all the records of the incident, you see. What? Why would anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with Team Star in the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to me. The student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested I externate the other students of Team Star from any blame. Huh? No one told me that! I accepted the request and agreed not to take disciplinary action against Team Star. Then I assigned 18 months over then I was assigned 18 months of overseas study to, to the student who took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of studying abroad? This was not intended as a punishment, you understand. Team Star were the victims, after all, and wanted the student to take some time to rest 
So I had them return home to the Galar region under the pretext of overseas study. Around the time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident in the academy service. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover up the whole thing. That's terrible. After we discovered that he had done that, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. But the inability of myself to rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame and laid at my feet and resigned from my position as director. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handling their, in handing in their notices. So that's why our current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused a great deal of trouble, but my sincere my apologies. Hang on, Mr. Harrington. How come you suddenly decided to talk about this now? Young Master Ortega. Team Star couldn't carry on it in its current fashion. I merely wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. Well, there's no way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them. Not after we've come this far. Your friends and Team Star must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's because you know. They're my greatest treasure in the whole wide world. This isn't going to be two episodes. That's cool. Well, what's going to happen is Patty's going to be like, oh, you got more teams now. So... I'm going to end it off here. Thank you guys so very much for watching this episode. Next episode, we'll be taking on Ari and the next Team Star member. We'll see you guys on the other side of this. Bye!